Weather rate certified most accurate forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. All right, Mike, it's going to be a hot one out there, but I'm looking forward to that cold front that will be know. coming our way. I know I shouldn't have even said cold front. <laughs> it's just a wind shift line right. Sunday night. It may bring us a chance of rain, but temperatures behind it much, not much colder not much than cold. what we're going to be seeing out here. Take a look at our forecast here over the next several days. and. If you like to get out and do some grilling, you see the grill there in the background? What? Yeah, I'm ready. A little I'm ready. smoke coming up there. It's going to be. Sticks. Yeah, well, that sounds good. We're looking at some hot weather here over the weekend. 94 degrees tomorrow, 96 on Sunday with our heat index values somewhere in the 90s, upper 90s on Saturday, and then in the low 100s. That's what it's going to feel like then on Sunday. Then that cool front or that wind shift line moves through overnight Sunday into Monday. So it drops us down into the upper 80s for the most part coming up here. So it's going to be a little bit cooler, but you know, at this time of the year, we'll take whatever we can get from any kind of a front. Right now, the front is well to the south of us, and again, very quiet conditions behind it. A few clouds up in Oklahoma, a few hit and miss showers and storms trying to get going there in the panhandle, but nothing really much is happening. And temperatures back here. 70s and 80s. We've got 80 degrees right now in Colleen, 78 in Temple, 77 right now in the Waco area. It's 76 in Mahan. There's a little humidity out there, so it kind of jumps to around 85 down in Caldwell. Uh, Brennan feels like 86 degrees in Unpasses. Your heat index right at 81 degrees. Again, winds not too much uh, right now. A matter of fact, there's not much to kind of stir up the atmosphere, so it's kind of a little stale in quite a few uh, places. A very light wind out of the north here in Waco at two miles per hour. Forecast then overnight tonight, mainly clear skies, very quiet weather. Temperatures by morning will be in the 60s, so not too bad of a start. But as we go throughout the day on Saturday, we're going to see those temperatures climb into the 90s. And again, these are just the raw temperatures. You factor in the humidity, and I think we'll be about feeling like 95 to 98 across our area. Same story, just off to the west. And then late Saturday into early Sunday, we're going to watch more moisture begin to creep in. And so that will keep those nighttime lows a little bit warmer with that moisture in the air. So by early in the morning on Sunday, Temperatures will be in the low 70s to start. 72 here in Waco, one passes at 71, 72 in Temple. And then as we go throughout the day on Sunday, more clouds start to move in in the afternoon. But look at those temperatures climbing mid to upper 90s for highs. And that's when I think we're going to see our our heat index values about 105 to 106. Yeah, that's no joke. We got to be very careful when it gets to be that hot this uh, time of the year. Look at the raw temperatures out to the west. They'll be about 100 degrees and you might see a few scattered rain showers and some isolated storms off to our west. That's the front that moves through and again overnight Sunday into Monday it'll bring slightly cooler weather. Tonight though mostly clear 69 degrees will be the low temperature and then tomorrow mostly sunny. It should be a beautiful day. Granted, it's going to be a hot one. 94 with a heat index of 98 degrees. And then as we look ahead, sunshine in the morning, clouds starting to move in late in the afternoon on Sunday. 96 degrees for the high, but the humidity is going to be high. So that's why I think it may feel very close to 105 or 106. Then that little disturbance moves through. That wind shift line kind of cools us down in the upper 80s like I was showing you. But generally speaking, not looking bad. The, the trend next week is actually showing temperatures running a little bit below average for this time of the year. And down toward Bryan and College Station, a very hot weekend, upper 90s for just raw temperatures and then slightly cooler Weather uh, will be kind of cooler then as we hit uh, basically by the middle part of the week there. We're talking upper 80s to around 90 degrees. I know it's not a huge change, but if you are looking for something to do, hey, head to Lake Whitney. There you go. It's not far away. Mostly sunny skies. expected both days. About 92 on Saturday and 94 degrees will be the high on Sunday. And you know what, Adam, that water looks fantastic. It looks so it? refreshing. <laughs> I could that's be there right be. now. Oh, that's where you want to be. So again, just with this dangerous heat, you want to be close to water. If you can't get there, just make sure you've got a bottle of water. You guys know the drills we were just talking about, not leaving anybody, anybody, right. anything in a car. That is for sure.